Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm back painting finally. Let's jump right in. It's been a while. I'm gonna start with 18. It has definitely been a while and I completely, I kind of forgot about this. <laughs> I just broke one of my brushes. Um, well, I kind of just, I guess, put it on the back burner. And I was thinking about it yesterday. I'm like, I didn't, I didn't paint. I haven't been painting. The other one I have, oh man, I don't even, I don't even want to pull that one out because it's so, I still have so much to do on that one. Gonna try to finish all unfinished projects before 2020 is done. And go into 2021 just with a clean slate and new and not new projects and crafts and things. I really need to finish this. I think I'm like uh, halfway, maybe halfway done. I got the majority of, of this area up here done. This brush is kind of hard, but the bottom portion, um, there's a there's a piece all the way at the bottom that I didn't even start yet. And then some of the middle part, like right here, and a little further down is done. This brush is not good. I'm just gonna use these wipes to clean the brush off. Um, I don't know, there was an 18 right here. I got my art supplies by me, so I think if I need, I think my brushes are in there, yeah, they are. If I need a different brush, I'm just going to reach over and grab a brush. up that part oops I was out of the frame that's okay I messed up that little part anyway I'm gonna use a different brush there's more 18 but I do not like this brush I'll use this one And it's been so long, so there's little pieces like this. I'm not sure what color goes there. I'm gonna have to get my phone and see. Look that up. I have a picture of the finished, how the finished one should look. Hope everyone is having a great week.
I have been somewhat productive, whatever somewhat productive means. I guess productive. And today I went to, actually, I'm just finally sitting down and it's the evening time. I got up and did a whole and just started running around. And then um, I went thrifting today as well. Found some good stuff today. I didn't find as much good stuff as I usually do, but I guess it was a little different, I guess you can say. Let me make sure this is 16, number one. Okay, hold on, because I see a number one there. one right here yes yeah, so I went thrifting and it was great I haven't been in a few um, weeks I was kind of going consistently like every week when it opened back up and it used to be it was very empty and now it's picking up. I see there was more people in there today. Usually, well lately, when I've been going in there, there's only like one or two people in there, but today there was a good amount of people filling up baskets. <laughs> well, actually carts of stuff. Um, Before all of this though, before the pandemic and everything closed, when I used to go there, I'm not going to say it was like super, super crowded, but I couldn't barely even get a cart. And it's a pretty big thrift store. However, there is, um, I don't feel like they have adequate amount of carts for the size of the thrift store you know like they can have more carts there but before i used to never even be able to get a cart so business will probably be picking back up soon people are leaving their house more now Holidays are coming around. I was looking for something for one of my costumes. And I was just seeing if by chance they had it, but they didn't. I'm just going to pick it up on Amazon, like always. <laughs> um, and it'll get here in time. It'll get here by this weekend. But I was looking for something for it, for the costume. Um, and it's a specific dress. I'm not going to say because I don't want to tell you guys what I'm dressing up as. But specific type of dress. And um, I was looking to see if maybe I can put something else together. But then I just decided I will get it on Amazon. I looked it up on Amazon and it would be here, you know, days before Halloween. So I would get it ahead of time, just in case, just in case it doesn't fit or anything like that. I have enough time, but um, yeah, so I'm gonna just order it on Amazon tonight. I was looking some up. And oh, these are all ones, right? There's two. Okay, there's two. There must be a good amount of ones because they have two paints for number one. But um, let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna get it on Amazon. But I did find a few other good things, a few 
a good amount of items actually and they had two tickets that were 50% off I usually like to go on Wednesdays because before pandemic Wednesdays they used to have all tickets 50% off except for like one but then when they opened back up they started having like every day they had a dollar tickets in there and then today they had um it'll be like a few tickets that are a dollar actually like one or two and then um today they had two color tickets for 50 percent off and then they had one ticket one color ticket for dollar items well it'd be priced a dollar so i got a good amount of items definitely spent a good amount of money in here today and i actually found a pull-up bar in there I'm just not sure if I'm gonna be able to use it because it doesn't really want to stay up and I think I'm missing something. It doesn't have instructions. It does look like an older, it's just a bar and you put it in between your doorway. It doesn't have the, you know, how some have like a bar and then it has like the hooks that go on top of your door, your door frame. Anyway, it's just a plain bar and you see you turn it and it opens more to fit your doorway size, the width. So I was excited to get it. I think I spent two dollars. <laughs> Cause um if I'm not mistaken, I'll double check. I think it was fifty percent off. And I was excited because I have actually I've been wanting to order a pull-up bar. I just moved some stuff so I have on now. But the thing is, I've been holding off because um, I've just kind of been holding off. Like a pull-up bar is not going to be something I use every single day. But um, it's something that I do want to incorporate in my workouts and stuff. And I do want to definitely work on my upper body strength. Because I do have a pole and I've been polling and stuff. I actually have two poles. I'll get to that in a second. <laughs> but um, so I have been wanting to incorporate some pull up. A pull up bar into. I'm just going to add this there. I don't know why into my workouts but I've been holding off it's just not something I don't know I don't know why I guess I just feel like I'm not gonna be using it every day so I can kind of wait to get it but yeah I went in there today in a thrift store and found one it was inside the box I took it out turned it to make sure that it expanded some and I think it was about two dollars. Looking for more ones, um, but I think there's like a little metal part on the sides, the ends of them, of the pull-up bars. And I think I have to screw that into the side of my, um, the side of the door frame. That's the only way I see it working because I've tried just having it in between the doorway using tension and it moves. But there's these little metal pieces on the side that come off and I think I might have to screw those in because it has three holes in it. I'm not sure, that's just a guess, but uh, I'm also thinking, I think I'm missing one of them. And I think I heard it fall in the thrift store. But anyway, I'm not sure if I'll be able to use it or not. If I can't, I guess it's not too much of a loss. It was only $2. 
Oh, but I did. I have a I have a pole already in my room, and I um about a month ago I ordered a second pole, and I got it from X Pole. So X Pole is like probably like the number one brand for poles. And by the way, I'm talking about like dancing poles, what you, what one might consider stripper poles. I don't necessarily call it a stripper pole, um, but I got a pole. And then I was, so, oh, I was so excited. First of all, it took a month to get here. And um, it took a month to get here. And then I open it up and it's the wrong color. I have a chrome pole in my room already and one the second one I got um, I got a titanium gold so I was very excited to see how it looked in person and how it felt and just ready to put it up I'm actually um, thinking of putting that one in my room the gold one and I opened it up and it was, sadly it was the silver one so I contacted them. I actually, social media is fabulous. It really is because, you know, if I would've went through customer service through their website, it might've been days before they responded. The first thing I did when I, when I noticed that they sent me the wrong poll was I DM'd them right away on Instagram. <laughs> I messaged them and said, hey, I received my order. I was waiting for it for a month and only to receive the wrong poll. And then after I did that, I did, wait a minute, is this supposed to be white? Yes, all this is white. See how it doesn't have the number here? But after I did that, I right away emailed them. Actually, I tried to call them, but they're not, because of COVID, they're not taking calls and they're not in office. And if I'm not mistaken, they have a, a store in California that I think you can go in, but it's not open because of COVID. But so my only re way to contact them was through email and I emailed them. And then a little later on, they had replied to me via Instagram and to let me know. Um, to email them and to send photos of what I received and order number, which I actually already did when I emailed them earlier in the day. I sent photos of it right out the box and I sent them a screenshot of my order, my original order. So I let them know via message and I said, okay, someone will be contacting you. They'll probably be emailing you or contacting you soon. They told me to, to email them so they can like flag the order or something like that. I don't know. I think it kind of expedites. She said it's, well, I'll, she or he in the message, in a DM said something of that sort. So I guess it kind of, I don't have to wait, you know, three to five business days just for their customer service to contact me. And then sure enough, like an hour later, I got an email from them saying that my order will be shipped by the end of the week. And I'm um, gonna take a sip of water. Yeah, so they said my order will be shipped by the end of the week. And When I receive my order, there will be a shipping label for me to return my other pole, which I really like because, you know, they handled that really, really well. I'm trying to think of which color I want to do next. And I'm glad they did. They responded in the way they did. 
because I was a little upset. I wasn't upset enough for it to be like, like ruin my day, but I was upset because I did wait a month for it to arrive. And then when it arrived, it's the wrong, not the one I ordered. And, um, you know, their response was, I really appreciate it, especially in the era of Amazon. <laughs> Look, when I return something on Amazon, usually, if if I'm able to get a replacement, they send a re Amazon will send a replacement out before you even send the original one you got back, which I like because it's very convenient. You know what I mean? I don't have to wait. I don't have to wait for me to ship it and then wait for it to get to you and then wait for you to ship it and it get to me. You get what I'm saying? So Amazon will kind of send one out before you even uh, ship yours out. And then if you don't ship it out in, in a time frame, you know, you have a good amount of time to ship it back. But if you don't, they'll just charge your card. Nobody wants their card charged, so of course they're gonna ship it back. But um, I was I was assuming, and I asked her. I keep saying her, assuming it's a female. So somebody, whoever I spoke to in the email was a girl. I guess that's why. But I um. Through, through Instagram, I said, you know, am I going to have to pay for shipping to return? And am I going to have to wait another month? You know, I would just like to know these things. And they were like, no, you don't pay for return shipping. And no, you're not going to have to wait a month. We're going to try to expedite that. So hopefully I'll receive it next week. Because, you know, it, it, it really was their mistake. Which is fine, but I was really like, oh no, if I gotta pay return shipping, I'm gonna have a... No. We're gonna have a problem with this, because that shipping, I paid $50. I don't even think this is the same color, and I'm going over it. I paid ship... Um, my shipping was $50 from California for that pole. Which sounds about right. The pole is very heavy. I'm assuming it's about 30 pounds because the one in my room is about 30 pounds. So it's very heavy. I know shipping. I ship items every single week. I know it gets pricey. But I'm like, if I got to pay for return shipping, oh man. Not, not with paying $50. I'm going to have to do some little areas in here over, like see you got this got red right here but look this got white I don't know how I really don't want to <laughs> this is taking so long I do not want to paint over anything again I'm looking for any more 16s and then I'm gonna do um, a few of the number 20s see so up here is mainly done I'm definitely um, I don't even know what goes here. That's six. I'm definitely gonna move on to the middle portion and focus on that. But I'm just gonna do 20 and then that's it for today. 20 is this nice, nice pink. Oops, look at this. Okay, I don't. I'm not gonna worry too much about the outside, actually. Though there's some twenties right here, but let me do this first, cause I don't want to lean on this. It 
it was again another warm day today. You really need a jacket. I mean, it's cool, but I'm, I'm, I really like the nice 60s, not this high 70 or, well, not high 60s. Today was like 70 or something like that. And it was slightly humid. I think this is two and not two. Yeah, these are two. What color is two? Let me look. I think two is like a pink color too. It is. It's actually very similar to this pink. I'll make sure I don't got nothing over here. Cover this a little. Okay. Also, let's do this. I know I'm messy with some areas, but hey, look. This is time consuming already, so I can't be focused on making it super, super perfect. Okay, got some 20s right here. And I think this is, yeah, this is a 20. I see the zero peeking out. Either way, it's very close to two in color. Uh, I should have did this one. I want to lean. I don't even think that was the same color. Oops, so oh well. Did anyone find any good deals on Prime Day? You know, Amazon had their Prime Day recently. It was like two days of deals and stuff. I'm wondering if anyone found anything interesting on there. I just bought another Alexa. Um, I did like that they had, the Lexus were cheaper than they usually are, and then, um, they had some bundle deals, or like, Alexa would come with a free Alexa, uh, light bulb, or like, Alexa light switch. I have one of those, actually, Alexa light switch. I'll show you guys before I, I'll tell her to turn the light off before we, I'm done. 
I have to whisper her name though actually because she hears her name and then she's like loud asking what can she do for you but um I bought Alexa and to be honest I didn't really see many good deals that I was um wanted to get they did have an Alexa microwave microwave I really like all of that type of stuff like Alexa compatible things I'm really into that my um my air fryer is actually Alexa compatible and I can control it from an app I usually don't though but I like those type of things and they had an, Ale an Alexa microwave and it came with an Alexa Echo Dot and I almost got it but I don't like microwaves so I don't have a microwave in my house but it was really a good deal. It was like $60. Really good deal. I probably should have gotten that. Oh, there's a lot of 20s down here. I don't know if I'm going to do all these 20s right now, though. But I didn't find any. As far as the Amazon deals for, for those two days, all I got was an Alexa Echo Dot. I don't think I got it. Oh, well, I did order, like, a few other things, but it wasn't, like, anything that was... I don't know. It wasn't no crazy deal. I'm just wondering if anyone found anything else interesting on there. But it really was just for people to go on there and splurge on things they probably didn't need or want. Like, I almost bought that microwave, and I really don't care to have a microwave. I don't like them. But, I mean, I would have put it to use, but. They just want people buying all type of things because people think they're getting a deal. <laughs> I'm not mad at it, though. I'm sure people found some good stuff. But the Alexa compatible light switches, oh, I love those. Because I have it in my room, so it controls my light. I don't have an overhead light. Like in my apartment, oh, the overhead light is only in like the kitchen eating area and uh, the bathroom. Not in the bedrooms or in the living room. So you got to get a lamp and it plugs into the light switch and then you can use the light switch. It's a certain light switch that is connected to the outlet and you can use that for your light switch. But I got Alexa in my room and I love it because I can be in bed and just, I don't have to get up to turn the light off and on. You know how you ever get comfortable and then oh, I got to get up for something or I'm doing something or sometimes I have my contacts on still right all the way up until I'm about to go to sleep. I'll just be like, Alexa, turn on the light. Oops, hold on, I can't see her name out. <laughs> and then tell the turn it back off. I like it. It's definitely not something you need, you know, but I like it. There's definitely times where it's convenient or you can just control your light through the Alexa app. Which is creepy. You can scare people with that. If you're not home, you know, turn off your light. Turn your light on and off while someone's in the room. And they're not going to really know what is going on. I 
I hear somebody's dog all the way up here. I'm going to assume it's a Yorkie. gonna be it for today I see a couple of 20s here but I have to go I'm gonna go work out I'm gonna go pull do some stretching let me see do a couple of more 20s here right here because I still got some paint on the brush. Oh, look at that. I went all the way. I said I was going to focus on the middle part. I've been liking to do like that. I wanted to do it where, you know, I do all the colors of that number. But I kind of like working in sections like that. Just realized I came all the way down here. There's this 20 right here that's all squiggly. I was trying to avoid it. Is. I'm done for today. I don't even think there's any more 20s down here, but I guess next time I paint, which is probably another month again, we're gonna try. We're gonna try to paint more so we can hurry up and finish this. But next time I paint, I guess I'll see. Sometimes I don't notice that I'm missing a number. You know, until you look at things, sort of like looking at it with a fresh eye. You don't notice if something, if I'm missing a color, a color from a certain number or not. Okay, well, we did something. It probably doesn't look like much progress, but we did something today. Slow progress, and we got down here, we got towards the bottom. So yeah, I think I'm I'm definitely about halfway done. Hopefully we'll be done soon. There goes the top what we did. It might not look like I can see it, but I think once you see the whole full, then you can see, oh yeah, this is the flower and this is like the leaves and stuff. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're you're sound asleep by now or at least relax i'm gonna see you guys next time make sure you take care of yourselves enjoy the rest of your week enjoy your night bye bye